Daryl Anthony reporting for ANN News. Top news, bumblebees considered an endangered species on the face of this earth today? We'll get to that in a few minutes. In other news, Justin Trudeau... <laughs> yeah, yes, okay, 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 uh, breaking news. It starts at 10.35. We're lazy. We got 15 minutes. Calm down. What was I saying? Uh, yeah. Uh, so so I, don't, I don't usually eat out, but I, I had a stressful day. I just finished the project for Blair, and I thought I'd uh, treat myself to a, a quarter chick from the Swiss Miss. A what? Quarter chicken dinner from Swiss Miss. Oh, come on. It's, uh, uh, nah, life should taste as good as Swiss. Oh, OK. okay. Are you even Canadian, man? You hear my voice. All right, all right, all right, Mr. Exchange student. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But if you were Canadian, you'd know that the most Canadian thing you can do, second only to getting a maple dip donut and a double double, is sitting down with the family on a Sunday night and enjoying a nice golden brown, delicious rotisserie chicken. Is that a big part of the citizenship test? I think immigration numbers would be way higher if we advertised that every new Canadian gets a free quarter chicken upon arrival. It's like those um, those Hawaiian necklaces, uh, the flower necklaces. It's like that, but with chicken. So you're telling me that besides saluting your flag, serving your country, helping your community, and just general national pride is less Canadian than getting a cup of coffee or some rotisserie chicken? Even though one's named after a European country and the other one's owned by Americans. Top ten. Or maybe top five. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but have you ever guys in a black notebook? Like a computer? No, no, no like, an, like an actual notebook. Like with paper? <laughs> I mean, what year is it? Who uses pens anymore? I'm sorry, man. I haven't seen one since we've been out here. Okay, uh, if you guys do happen to find one, could you please bring it to the front desk? My name's Dean. It's uh, written on the inside cover. Uh, it has all my stories in it. I don't know what I'll do if I lost it. I was actually out here yeah. earlier. Yeah, 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 we got it. We got it, Dean. <laughs> yeah, but thanks, thanks so much. you thought this was but it definitely isn't that I just thought we were roommates with benefits or something but I'm definitely not your girlfriend 
I'm glad we cleared this up. Now you don't have to worry about meeting my mom after all. What do you mean? What do I mean? Just for the fact you'll be moved out by then? And I won't have to worry about meeting you for meeting my mom after all and, God forbid, misinterpreting a relationship with the person I sleep with every night. Good luck trying to find a new apartment midway through the school year. Court! Wait. When your mom comes, don't put so much salt in the mashed potatoes. It tastes like shit. Hey, uh, you got a light? No, sorry. Those guys up there might be able to help you. Thanks. So, finally showed up. What do you mean finally? We should be here at three and it's three. Think you're doing me a favor showing up here? Why don't you own up to what you've been saying? What do you want about? I mean, you're easily the most annoying person to deal with. You can't just assume that everybody knows what you're talking about. People have been telling me what you've been saying. We literally see each other every single day. I'm gonna cut the shit, Jeff. Did you tell me to meet you here just so you could put on a show for everyone? Everyone? No, Eck. Look around. No one cares about what we've been saying. They're living their own little lives. None of your yes-men friends or your laughing pack of hyenas. No, Eck. This show's for you. You, know, you, you. you realize you've ruined everything that I've been working towards the past year? You know, I have nothing to fall back on. And no other group will take me because of the lies you've been telling about me. Let me see. I went to class. I had it. I went in the lounge, got a coffee, and I had it. I was writing over there, and I had it. Then I went to class again, and I didn't have it. Heck, take a good look at this face. Now tell me, do I look like a Justin Timberlake song produced by Timbaland? What? Do I look like a Justin Timberlake song produced by Timbaland? Because you're trying to cry me a river, and to be honest, you brought this on yourself. You know, you're such an idiot. I, you can't have one serious conversation without making jokes. You know, life isn't some big joke for your amusement, especially not my life. I'm the one telling jokes? You know, if we were anywhere else but here right now, trying to find your teeth on the fucking ground. Hey, have you ever guessed in a no- No! Anyways, that guy, I don't know. Oh, shit! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs>